So I've been using Linux for about three years now and the learning curve has been steep. I went from spending hours trying to learn how to pronounce Urbanito to spending days here in the perfect environment for me to get school, programming, and life work done. And that's probably the strongest concept I've learned. You have to spend some time being unproductive to be able to be ultra productive. And today I'll be showing the culmination of many hours of learning that I used to create my environment. When first logging in, you'll see nothing. So the concept that I took was that I only want to see what I need to get things done in the moment. So if I want to see something like the date or my Wi-Fi information, I use a key to toggle my menu back and forth. And this bar or menu I can view on top of any application I've opened. If I want to view my schedule for the day, I have a shortcut that runs a script that displays it above all the applications I've opened. I schedule all my tasks and events through Emacs org mode, which then generates a text for this agenda. When one of the items on my agenda is approaching, I have a script that will notify me about it 15, 10, and 5 minutes before and the moment it occurs. So I also use org clock to keep track of work hours or how long it takes me to complete a task. So if I clock in or start tracking a task, I can get a look at how long I've been working on it when I toggle my menu back on. So I can clock in and out by clicking on the bar or go to the task by middle clicking. So when I stop tracking a task though, it won't be toggled on when I open my menu. Another bar I have is a music player. So if I start playing a song and then toggle my bar, it will show the currently playing song. And if I click, it'll pause and play. Double clicking skips forward and double right clicking skips backwards. And then middle clicking will bring up the lyrics while double middle clicking will stop the song. When I stop the song and toggle the bar back on, it won't be shown. A nice feature is that if I were to be playing a song on my phone, I can see what's playing, pause, and search for lyrics just the same way as if I were to be playing it on my desktop. Outside of these things, I have a few applications I use to solve some small annoyances. So I first use an application called CopyGue that lets me search and grab something in my clipboard history. If it's something that's not easily searchable or I use very frequently, I can open up this menu and search for the name of the item I want to copy. This same menu lets me quickly run scripts I don't think deserve a key binding. For instance, the script called Rofi Bluetooth that I found online that lets me easily manage my Bluetooth devices. So a second application that I actually developed is Rofi Mixer. This allows me to control my sound devices. So when I open it up with the shortcut, I can change my default speaker or change their volumes and mute and unmute them. And I can do the same thing with microphones by changing the mode. I'll leave a link to this project and all other applications I mentioned in this video in the description. Lastly, I want to show a few quality of life things that help me a lot. Firstly, I have a drop down terminal and drop down Emacs instance. So I can use keyboard commands to quickly bring each of them into focus. And I have another command that lets me turn any window into a drop down. I usually end up making Firefox that drop down and I can use another command to bring it into focus. This is helpful when I'm doing a quick search while programming or doing homework. And finally, I think my lock screen is very cool.